perfect. Just here to show you a little bit on assembling. Sergeant Engineering Couples. I have four of the lower shelves. Type E's. And I'll also do four of the normal E's. I paint uh, everything. This method, you might scratch a bit of your paint off, so all those people who don't paint, that'll uh, be pretty good for you guys. But this is just a demo on how I do it. A uh, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetech, all my uh, st stuff down to the cardboard while I'm spraying, because uh, I tend to lose it as I'm transporting the cardboard around. Yeah, both the. E and the lower shelf E, uh, different colors. I usually do batches of like uh, 14 to 20 at a time. I find it easier that way. So I'm just taking the blue tack off. As you can see. Peeling it off. Mm -hmm. What's that chicken for? Flashing, that might be an excess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Blue tech pile, my dirty blue tech pile. Get that right. So now I'm going to use the uh, that's my green toothpick, my toothpick just to burr out where the ball bearing sits. Burr it out. So. If you're doing multiples at the same time, try and keep them separate, I suppose. Bearing. Number two. Uh, HP. Yeah, HP. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing my bottom uh, casting and I'm using my pencil and just a little bit in where the ball sits and I drop it right down facing downwards so that if I put any excess in there uh, it'll come out when I drop it you can see my pencil is really good I've used it to its good extent <laughs> So, I'll do my lower shelves. Obviously, your ball sits there, your ball bearing sits there. Uh, 
while well, it's closed. So. I'll do this to the movie casting idea. Alright. So I've got, I use the toothpicks from Frank, that he sings, um, just for gluing. And I buy my other ones from just from the store. There's for burying and other various tasks. But I uh, use a bottle lid to hold my CA glue. Um, and, uh, yeah. So we'll get going in. So we'll do our bottom shelves first. Obviously I push them in. I have my ball bearings and other various springs and stuff that I have used over the time. Um, I use a mag I use magnetic uh, tweezers as well. I find it easier doing it this way, just to hold the ball there. So when you put it in, you're casting. You, I use the non-gluing toothpick to hold the ball down in there. Grab my knuckle. Now I grab it like the. <laughs> nearly lost it. <laughs> Lucky I have big tears. She was, um, I hold it like this, if you can see that, I don't know if the camera's got there, but I hold it like that, so when I face them down, they go straight in like that, all you have to do is push it down all the way, it's done, and then I use my gluing toothpick, dip, and my CA, then I'd always do this bit here, a little bit, and then I'd do my shank. Then I grab my top, uh, my bottom casting, so it's the lower shelf variant, and then I hold the back here, and I might be caressing this one, like this, no. There we go, a little bit fiddly, but I push down here, I hold the back here, and I push down near the head, so she uh, gets nice and close to that knuckle, holding that knuckle in, alright, then I swap over, two jigs, maybe I'm thinking I might need three to four, because I can do these pretty quickly, and I'm just thinking maybe the let the glue sit a little bit longer before I pull it out of the jig. So. No, it's fine. Okay. Not like that. And push. Do that little bit in the actual coupling, just a little bit. Needed only a dash. And the rest on the shank, pushing down, holding the back of it. Wait five. Why wait five? And then I pull out the. One I've done previously. And I'll just continue. And this one wants to be. Just 
about the preparation and getting your um, process. How you want to do it, right? Here's those four done. We'll jump onto our E's. Can be fiddly sometimes. What am I doing? Get in there. Knuckle, so knuckle like that. Push. Blue dash So there's our four bottom shelves done. So we see, and then once you get in the rhythm, you can pull all these out. Let's put it on first. There we go. So we've got our uh, four bottoms, bottom shells, and just a normal, normal ease. Uh, also got our Fs. I don't have any passenger cars, so I don't have any Hs. Um, so these are about the same, just uh, you got to be look for the flashing a little bit more on these and uh, obviously you can't use the jig and you can't use the jig with your bottom plus 100 like for your um, what am I talking about for your auto X that's a plus 100 bottom and this one is just a plus 130 normal E so, yeah, there's a lot of variants out there. I've, I've used up all my uh, uh, double shelves. 
on my tanks, on my tank cars. I can check that water some more very shortly, but that's how I do mine. Um, yeah. Thanks.